Well, now that we're all here, the Prime Minister has asked the Home Secretary to come and represent him here today. The Home Secretary. Uh, gentlemen, uh, the tape that you are about to hear was received at 10 Downing Street this morning. My dear Prime Minister, two atomic bombs, numbers 456 and 457, which were aboard NATO Flight 759, are now in the possession of Spectre. Unless within the next seven days, your government pays to us 100 million pounds sterling in a manner to be designated by us, we shall destroy a major city in England or the United States of America. Please signal your acceptance of our terms by arranging for Big Ben to strike seven times at six tomorrow. The Prime Minister and the President have talked together over the hotline and have agreed that unless the bombs are recovered, payment will have to be made. To avoid general panic, complete secrecy will be maintained and no press announcements. The Prime Minister has asked that your department take charge of the operation. Thank you, sir. Sir John. This circle represents the full flying range of the Vulcan. Extensive search has failed to locate any evidence of either a crash or landing, and worldwide reports have proved negative on all airfields large enough to handle the Vulcan. That's all we have, sir. Thank you, Sir John. Well, I'll leave you to carry on. We'll keep you in touch from number 10. Thank you, sir. You may now open the floor as in front of you. Codename, Thunderball. As you can see, we've very little to go on. All the members of the crew had top security clearance. You'll find their photographs and service records in your files. You'll be working with NATO, CIA, and all Allied intelligence units. Well, that's all, until you discuss your individual assignments with me.